Hello, my guardian angel. As work. Hey, Mum. Same suit, just reheated. So, I was um, watching locations this morning, and Kirsty and Phil say that the housing market is going to go up. And I was just thinking, are you sure that you want to get rid of your job as a receptionist? Well, we've been through this, Mum. I have enough money saved up for our next few payments, and I have interviews coming out with other law firms. Yeah, I know, and I trust you. I do. I just worry, that's all. I know, but Mum, I have to go. Oh, all right then, Ma. Love you. Love you too. Hi. Flat white, please. Oh no, someone broken up with their boyfriend again. Nope, that was last week, so suck it. Can you please pass me a napkin? Napkin, please. This can't be right. They always write it down wrong. Sorry, are you alive? Physically or mentally? I'm sorry, where are my manners? I'm Grim, pleased to meet you. Grim, as in the way Love Island makes me feel. Grim, as in the Grim Reaper. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Let me prove it to you. Just wait, please. Look, try to get someone's attention. Anyone at all in this? Well, I'd say hellhole, but having been there, I can tell you, this place is much worse. Whatever you put in my coffee is seriously gonna get you fired. <laughs> Ew! You fake tattooed, gut wobbling, maggot face hipster. It's going in my mouth. I don't know for sure. You don't know! <laughs> well, they never sent me the right paperwork. It's all the shambles. Think of it like this. Say there are two rooms with a one-way mirror between them. I could see through into your room, your realm of existence, but you couldn't see through into mine. Therefore, having no idea that my room, my realm, existed until a few minutes ago when somehow you passed through. You know what? It's easier if I just show you. Where are we even going? Don't worry, you'll see. You're the Grim Reaper, shouldn't you? What? <laughs> Frankly, I'm offended. I don't kill people. Okay. Are you ready? No, absolutely not. 
That's the spirit. This is strange. The spirit should be knocking about here somewhere. I got scared. It's okay. Forgive us. It's been quite the day. Trish, I'm afraid we have some bad news. On the roller coaster that is life and all its wonders, the time has come for you to. <coughs> what? That's Trish's dead body. I'm dead? You're dead. Sorry. I was going to break it to you more smoothly. I know this is hard to take in, but that's what makes life so wonderful. It's rare and it's fleeting. And in cases like yours, there might be a little something at the end of the rainbow. Really? Oh, thank you! Oh. But before that, one simple question and you're good to go, okay? Is there anything in this life you'd like to leave behind? Any confessions or realizations? No, well, I don't think so. Mm, you sure? What are you saying? Well, I'm simply asking if there was an- How dare you? She is a strong, independent woman. And look, knitters aren't liars. Simply isn't possible. Charles Manson knitted a new jumper every week. It's called the Mansonettes. Okay, well. She keeps all of her child, Jaden's truly awful artwork, proof she is a loving mother. Mum, Dad, and Mum's friend Dave. Trish, who's Dave? <clears throat> Jaden's real dad. Come on! Care to expand, Trish? A few... Years ago, me and my fiance fought, and Dave was there to pick up the pieces. But when Jadon was born, I wasn't sure, so I didn't tell either of them. Because Jadon had me, so it didn't matter about the dad. And I've been happy ever since, so I don't regret. Your life is done. Follow me. I'll be back shortly. Don't touch anything. Oh, Libby, it was wonderful. I wish you could have. Am I dead? Mm. Okay, the trip will help him. So, I'm definitely not dead. No, at least I don't think so. You're in a sort of hiatus between life and death. Mm, like the Jennifer's were. Sure. See, you're able to eat for one, so you can't be dead. But, like me, nobody can hear or see you either. So you're not alive either. Okay, but why? The only hypothesis I can come up is... Libby, I think you're the next Grim Reaper. What?! Libby, will you please just sit down and stop having a stroke? What are you, five? How old are you? 
No idea. I got lost somewhere around 102. Sit down. I have to show you something. When I became the Grim Reaper, it was because of the way I lived my life. So I've been thinking. That part was my life, isn't it? It's so small. Why is it so small? Sorry, that's the on sound. It's called the I and Mighty. Steve Jobs is one weird guy, I'll tell you. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. March the 3rd, 2013. We called in sick to work to go to a Rebecca Black concert. Mock Friday all you want, but Saturday the jam. Stay. September the 2nd, you split up with your boyfriend purely because he likes trout. July 2014, you sent your best friend's nudes to her dad on a dare. <laughs> <laughs> but January 2019, you donated thousands of your firm's dirty money to charity. November 2011, you stopped a woman choking on trout. Trout twice! That has to be worth extra points. You even let your mum stay in your flat, despite the fact that the divorce was your fault. Don't you see? Our lives are both morally balanced. Too bad for heaven, too good for hell. So like me, you've been placed as a grim reaper. But it's okay. I can teach you. Okay, we can do this, but frankly, the way you do things is a bit like putting a lamb in a jumper. Surprisingly boring and a little bit cruel. I have been doing this for several millennia. The Grim Reaper should be subtle and accepting of the dead and their feelings. It's your legal first name, the, as in the Grim. You know what, doesn't matter. Let's be there. Hello, my name is Le Grim Reaper. It's French. Coneman. At least that's the name that my community gave to me. Coneman, I'm afraid I have to tell you something. So, you are Dead. Dun dun dun. I see. Okay. Before I take you to the afterlife, I must ask: Do you have any confessions, kinks? Or freak habits? I fear not. You see, I have lived a peaceful life under the eyes of the Lord. Oh. Are you sure? No uh, scandalous past? No strange addiction that could be exploited for TV? I have helped children find new lives. Some now with businesses of their own, you see. My community shines in the eyes of the Lord. Well, I think there is only one place for your spirit to be. Hell!
I can't do this. I can't be the Grim Reaper. <sighs> no, you can't. Your way clearly doesn't work. I mean, if you had bothered to read the folder at all, you would have seen this. Very popular name in the 1940s. Comes from the Bible. Or Hitler's diary or something. There must be another reason. I can't... I don't want to do this! I hate to break it to you, but you don't really have a choice. Defying the powers that be is taken as a bad decision, therefore outweighing your neutral moral balance in the afterlife. Which means... You saw that! It was like a pigeon has gone wild nude calendar! Just... wrong! That's what happens when you mess with the system. There is a reason I do things my way. I can't live like this. I won't be able to pet a dog or avoid someone in a shop that I've already said hello to or see. <sighs> yes, that's fine. It's not like people are dying or anything. Tell her I'm here. But she can't hear me. How did you do it? How did you say goodbye? I didn't. I ran to the hills. I only did it because I had to. But over the years I've learned that you appreciate life more and helping others through death, including your grandmother. She's my mum. You know how most kids get taught how to ride a bike? My mum taught me how to scare away boys, then shoot at Scrapple. Wow. Yeah. You paint over the letters so that when you read them. There's one more perk I didn't tell you about. The singular joy of being immortal. Getting to watch all those you loved live their lives. Or sometimes, imagine them in the right direction a little. Like a guardian angel? Sure. I don't want to live in this moment, but people are dying and they need us. They need you. For you, really, aren't we? Scooby Doo. Oh, come on. Was the abacus more your thing? It's okay, you can come out. You! Do we know each other? <gasps> Even in death, you're a twit. Libby! Hang on! I'm dead. Oh, yeah. Libby! So I worked and studied every day. And for what? I can't be dead. I, I've, I've got to feed Mr. Stuffles and, 
and, and my rent's due next week, and I, I really can't keep missing it. They're going to evict me. I don't... Patrick, is it? Let me guess, your mum was really into ghost and dirty dancing. Yeah, why? Doesn't matter. Okay. Look at me. You are dead. But breathe. Everything is going to be okay. While it is the end of your life, your world ticks on. It's like when you leave secondary school, you think your life's over. Experiences, friends, safety, gone. But then university happens. And it turns out there is so much more than your small bubble. That's what dying's like. It's just the beginning of the second part of your life. Inside the ride at all times, feel free to Rain! <laughs> Nothing? If I wasn't already dead, I would be now. So, where are we headed next? Bluebell Retirement Home. <sighs> Looks like we'll be there for a while, so... Who leaves the door to the afterlife open? I mean, born in a barn. Did Grimms even have barns? It wasn't me. All right, Shaggy. Oh, of course. Really? This has been an honor to help you become the woman I knew you could be. No! It would seem it's finally my turn. No! It's going to be okay. Mm, you can't. We're a team. After all, you were taught by the best. You can do this. What if something goes wrong? What if... You'll figure it out. Now then, a handing over of the torch, as it were.
Any last confessions or realizations before you go? You're about to be alone for a long time. And sometimes it will be all you think about. But if your successor is anything like you, you've got a lot to look forward to. See you around, Grim. Sorry. Hello? 